What is going on guys? Welcome to episode 5 for the Spec Ops Challenges. Now today we're going to go over the epic slide which requires you to get 2 kills with 1 bullet while power sliding. I'm also going to throw annotations for the other videos we already went over just in case you still need those calling cards. Now when it came to the previous videos and the previous challenges, you know I kind of said I would guarantee you could get those done in 1-2 to two games. When it comes to the epic slide, I'm going to bump that up to three games because it does require enemies to line up and be really close together. But using this video and technique, I can guarantee three games and you'll get this challenge complete. So getting into the class setup, what you need to do is grab a shotgun. I use the Rack 9 because it's very powerful and it just feels good when I shoot it. I threw on the long barrel just to help me out with the range, which did help in the video, which you'll see coming up in a minute. And then for perks, you need to throw on Ghost and you need to throw on Cold-Blooded because we do need to get a little bit campy. And then the rest of the class and the rest of the slots are all up to you. And before we get into it, just a quick message from our sponsors. If you find these videos helpful at all, just do me a huge favor. Just like it or comment below or share it with your friends. It does really help me out a lot, so I do appreciate that. Now, as far as a game mode, I found this extremely easy jumping into a hardcore domination game and it's going to up your chances by like 2 billion percent to get this challenge complete. And also one thing to note just to clear this up, I get this challenge completed with the warfighter. I know the description says to kill two enemies with one bullet while power sliding, but that is not the case because when I think the power slide, I think of the FTL's trait called the power slide, but that is not the case. So I got this completed with the warfighter. All you need to do is be sliding and that is considered a power slide. So keep that in mind. Use whatever rig you want. Now obviously the FTL's power slide will help you out tons because it does give you about an extra second of sliding time plus you can be aiming down the sights but it is not necessarily needed so keep that in mind. So what I did and huge shout out to this alpha Asian Chu guy. He was just destroying this team while I camped my ass off doing nothing. He won the whole game for us. He was, he was killing it. He had an RC8 always doing work but this is what I did so I had a really strong team we had a and they were running around capping B and C which was forcing the enemy to come over to a so as soon as I saw that they were capping a I would pop out and check for two guys and hopefully they were somewhat close to each other or at least kind of lined up and if they weren't I would kind of just go back hide in my hole and wait till I got the alert that we we're losing a again and then I would just keep repeating the process until eventually two guys lined up now hopefully when you're behind the point they're not really going to be looking for you so you can kind of pop out you can get a second to look at them and see if they're lined up or not. Now again this was probably my second game and I jumped in at halftime and this is why I said you really need to add on ghost and add on cold blooded just so you can camp it out in the off chance the enemy is getting UAVs. So here it comes now again this is exactly like I planned it. I'm losing A. I'm going to pop up again. I'm behind them, so they're not really looking for me. I can see two guys. They're not really lined up, but then they start making a run for it, and I know they're going to the same spot. So I slide, and I shoot with my shotgun equipped with a long barrel, which really helped out here because that second guy was kind of far away. And just like that, the challenge is complete. Again, this was my second game. I probably worked on this for like two minutes. That's all, that's all I did. Like I camped. I jumped in at halftime. I camped, and now I'm just going to finish the game off, hopefully help my team win. But it honestly is a pretty simple challenge. I think the wall running challenge will be a little more difficult, but I'll get a video up for that as well. And hopefully the phase hunter in a minute. You know, I've had some tough times getting some uh, video recording of people phase shifting with me, but I promise I'm going to get that done and hopefully I'll have that one uploaded because I, that's all I see in the comments is do the phase hunter, do the phase hunter. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you did, again, just make sure you like it, comment, share with all your friends. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.